Psalm chapter 1, book 1, Psalms 1 through 41. Oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand around with sinners, or join in with mockers. But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. But not the wicked. They are like worthless chaff scattered by the wind. They will be condemned at the time of judgment. Sinners will have no place among the godly. For the Lord watches over the path of the godly, but the path of the wicked leads to destruction. Psalm chapter 2. Why are the nations so angry? Why do they waste their time with futile plans? The kings of the earth prepare for battle. The rulers plot together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Let us break their chains, they cry, and free ourselves from slavery to God. But the one who rules in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Then in anger, he rebukes them, terrifying them with his fierce fury. For the Lord declares, I have placed my chosen king on the throne in Jerusalem, on my holy mountain. The king proclaims the Lord's decree. The Lord said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Only ask and I will give you the nations as your inheritance, the whole earth as your possession. You will break them with an iron rod and smash them like clay pots. Now then, you kings, act wisely. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with reverent fear and rejoice with trembling. Submit to God's royal son, or he will become angry and you will be destroyed in the midst of all your activities. For his anger flares up in an instant. But what joy for all who take refuge in him. Psalm chapter 3, a psalm of David regarding the time David fled from his son Absalom. O oh Lord, I have so many enemies. So many are against me. So many are saying, God will never rescue him. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. I cried out to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. I am not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side. Rise, O Lord, rescue me, my God. Slap all my enemies in the face. Shatter the teeth of the wicked. Victory comes from you, O Lord. May you bless your people. Psalm chapter four, for the choir director, a psalm of David to be accompanied by string instruments. Answer me when I call to you, O God who declares me innocent. Free me from my troubles. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you people ruin my reputation? How long will you make groundless accusations? How long will you continue your lives? You can be sure of this, 
The Lord set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will answer when I call to him. Don't sin by letting anger control you. Think about it overnight and remain silent. Offer sacrifices in the right spirit and trust the Lord. Many people say, who will show us better times? Let your face smile on us, Lord. You have given me greater joy than those who have abundant harvests of grain and new wine. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, O oh Lord, will keep me safe. Psalm chapter 5 For the choir director, a psalm of David to be accompanied by the flute. O oh Lord, hear me as I pray. Pay attention to my groaning. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I pray to no one but you. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning I bring my requests to you and wait expectantly. O oh God, you take no pleasure in wickedness. You cannot tolerate the sins of the wicked. Therefore, the proud may not stand in your presence, for you hate all who do evil. You will destroy those who tell lies. The Lord detests murderers and deceivers. Because of your unfailing love, I can enter your house. I will worship at your temple with deepest awe. Lead me in the right path, O Lord, or my enemies will conquer me. Make your way plain for me to follow. My enemies cannot speak a truthful word. Their deepest desire is to destroy others. Their talk is foul, like the stench from an open grave. Their tongues are filled with flattery. O oh God, declare them guilty. Let them be caught in their own traps. Drive them away because of their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them sing joyful praises forever. Spread your protection over them, that all who love your name may be filled with joy. For you bless the godly, O oh Lord. You surround them with your shield of love. Psalm chapter 6, for the choir director, a psalm of David to be accompanied by an eight-stringed instrument. O oh Lord, don't rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your rage. Have compassion on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. I am sick at heart. How long, O oh Lord, until you restore me? Return, O oh Lord, and rescue me. Save me because of your unfailing love. For the dead do not remember you. Who can praise you from the grave? I am worn out from sobbing. All night I flood my bed with weeping, drenching it with my tears. My vision is blurred by grief. My eyes are worn out because of all my enemies. Go away, all you who do evil. For the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord will answer my prayer. May all my enemies be disgraced and terrified. May they suddenly turn back in shame. Psalm chapter 7, a psalm of David, which he sang to the Lord concerning Cush of the tribe of Benjamin. I come to you for protection, O Lord my God. Save me from my persecutors, rescue me. If you don't, they will maul me like a lion, 
tearing me to pieces with no one to rescue me. Oh Lord, my God, if I have done wrong or am guilty of injustice, if I have betrayed a friend or plundered my enemy without cause, then let my enemies capture me. Let them trample me into the ground and drag my honor in the dust. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice. Gather the nations before you. Rule over them from on high. The Lord judges the nations. Declare me righteous, O Lord, for I am innocent, O Most High. End the evil of those who are wicked and defend the righteous. For you look deep within the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield, saving those whose hearts are true and right. God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. If a person does not repent, God will sharpen his sword. He will bend and string his bow. He will prepare his deadly weapons and shoot his flaming arrows. The wicked conceive evil. They are pregnant with trouble and give birth to lies. They dig a deep pit to trap others, then fall into it themselves. The trouble they make for others backfires on them. The violence they plan falls on their own heads. I will thank the Lord because he is just. I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Psalm chapter 8 For the choir director, a psalm of David to be accompanied by a stringed instrument. O oh Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them? Human beings that you should care for them. Yet you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority, the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O oh Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Psalm chapter 9, for the choir director, a psalm of David, to be sung to the tune, Death of the Son. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all the marvelous things you have done. I will be filled with joy because of you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. My enemies retreated. They staggered and died when you appeared, for you have judged in my favor. From your throne you have judged with fairness. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have erased their names forever. The enemy is finished in endless ruins. The cities you uprooted are now forgotten. But the Lord reigns forever, executing judgment from his throne. He will judge the world with justice and rule the nations with fairness. The Lord is a shelter for the oppressed a refuge in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. Sing praises to the Lord who reigns in Jerusalem. Tell the world about his unforgettable deeds. For he who avenges murder cares for the helpless. He does not ignore the cries of those who suffer. Lord, have mercy on me. 
See how my enemies torment me. Snatch me back from the jaws of death. Save me so I can praise you publicly at Jerusalem's gates, so I can rejoice that you have rescued me. The nations have fallen into the pit they dug for others. Their own feet have been caught in the trap they set. The Lord is known for his justice. The wicked are trapped by their own deeds. The wicked will go down to the grave. This is the fate of all the nations who ignore God. But the needy will not be ignored forever. The hopes of the poor will not always be crushed. Arise, O Lord. Do not let mere mortals defy you. Judge the nations. Make them tremble in fear, O Lord. Let the nations know they are merely human. Psalm chapter 10. O oh Lord, why do you stand so far away? Why do you hide when I am in trouble? The wicked arrogantly hunt down the poor. Let them be caught in the evil they plan for others. For they brag about their evil desires. They praise the greedy and curse the Lord. The wicked are too proud to seek God. They seem to think that God is dead, yet they succeed in everything they do. They do not see your punishment awaiting them. They sneer at all their enemies. They think nothing bad will ever happen to us. We will be free of trouble forever. Their mouths are full of cursing, lies, and threats. Trouble and evil are on the tips of their tongues. They lurk in ambush in the villages, waiting to murder innocent people. They are always searching for helpless victims. Like lions crouched in hiding, they wait to pounce on the helpless. Like hunters, they capture the helpless and drag them away in nets. Their helpless victims are crushed. They fall beneath the strength of the wicked. The wicked think, God isn't watching us. He has closed his eyes and won't even see what we do. Arise, O Lord, punish the wicked, O God. Do not ignore the helpless. Why do the wicked get away with despising God? They think God will never call us to account, but you see the trouble and grief they cause. You take note of it and punish them. The helpless put their trust in you. You defend the orphans. Break the arms of these wicked, evil people. Go after them until the last one is destroyed. The Lord is king forever and ever. The godless nations will vanish from the land. Lord, you know the hopes of the helpless. Surely you will hear their cries and comfort them. You will bring justice to the orphans and the oppressed so mere people can no longer terrify them. Psalm chapter 11, for the choir director, a Psalm of David. I trust in the Lord for protection. So why do you say to me, fly like a bird to the mountains for safety? The wicked are stringing their bows and fitting their arrows on the bowstrings. They shoot from the shadows at those whose hearts are right. The foundations of law and order have collapsed. What can the righteous do? But the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord still rules from heaven. He watches everyone closely, examining every person on earth. The Lord examines both the righteous and the wicked. He hates those who love violence. He will rain down blazing coals and burning sulfur on the wicked, punishing them scorching winds. For the righteous Lord loves justice, the virtuous will see his face.
Psalm, chapter 12. For the choir director, a psalm of David to be accompanied by an eight-string instrument. Help, O Lord, for the godly are fast disappearing. The faithful have vanished from the earth. Neighbors lie to each other, speaking with flattering lips and deceitful hearts. May the Lord cut off their flattering lips and silence their boastful tongues. They say, we will lie to our heart's content. Our lips are our own. Who can stop us? The Lord replies, I have seen violence done to the helpless, and I have heard the groans of the poor. Now I will rise up to rescue them as they have longed for me to do. The Lord's promises are pure, like silver refined in a furnace, purified seven times over. Therefore, Lord, we know you will protect the oppressed, preserving them forever from this lying generation, even though the wicked strut about and evil is praised throughout the land. Psalm chapter 13, for the choir director, a Psalm of David. O oh Lord, how long will you forget me? Forever? How long will you look the other way? How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul, with sorrow in my heart every day? How long will my enemy have the upper hand? Turn and answer me, O oh Lord my God. Restore the sparkle to my eyes, or I will die. Don't let my enemies gloat, saying, we have defeated him. Don't let them rejoice at my downfall. But I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. I will sing to the Lord because he is good to me. Psalm chapter 14, for the choir director, a psalm of David. Only fools say in their hearts there is no God. They are corrupt and their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise, if anyone seeks God. But no, all have turned away. All have become corrupt. No one does good, not a single one. Will those who do evil never learn? They eat up my people like bread and wouldn't think of praying to the Lord. Terror will grip them, for God is with those who obey him. The wicked frustrate the plans of the oppressed, but the Lord will protect his people. Who will come from Mount Zion to rescue Israel? When the Lord restores his people, Jacob will shout with joy and Israel will rejoice. Psalm chapter 15, a Psalm of David. Who may worship in your sanctuary, Lord? Who may enter your presence on your holy hill? Those who lead blameless lives and do what is right, speaking the truth from sincere hearts. Those who refuse to gossip or harm their neighbors or speak evil of their friends. Those who despise flagrant sinners and honor the faithful followers of the Lord and keep their promises even when it hurts. Those who lend money without charging interest and who cannot be bribed to lie about the innocent, such people will stand firm forever.
Psalm chapter 16, a Psalm of David. Keep me safe, O God, for I have come to you for refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my master. Every good thing I have comes from you. The godly people in the land are my true heroes. I take pleasure in them. Troubles multiply for those who chase after other gods. I will not take part in their sacrifices of blood or even speak the names of their gods. Lord, you alone are my inheritance, my cup of blessing. You guard all that is mine. The land you have given me is a pleasant land. What a wonderful inheritance. I will bless the Lord who guides me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad, and I rejoice. My body rests in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence, and the pleasures of living with you forever. Psalm chapter 17, a prayer of David. O Lord, hear my plea for justice. Listen to my cry for help. Pay attention to my prayer, for it comes from honest lips. Declare me innocent, for you see those who do right. You have tested my thoughts and examined my heart in the night. You have scrutinized me and found nothing wrong. I am determined not to sin in what I say. I have followed your commands, which keep me from following cruel and evil people. My steps have stayed on your path. I have not wavered from following you. I am praying to you because I know you will answer, O oh God. Bend down and listen as I pray. Show me your unfailing love in wonderful ways. By your mighty power, you rescue those who seek refuge from their enemies. Guard me as you would guard your own eyes. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Protect me from wicked people who attack me, from murderous enemies who surround me. They are without pity. Listen to their boasting. They track me down and surround me, watching for the chance to throw me to the ground. They are like hungry lions, eager to tear me apart, like young lions hiding in ambush. Arise, O Lord, stand against them and bring them to their knees. Rescue me from the wicked with your sword. By the power of your hand, O Lord, destroy those who look to this world for their reward. But satisfy the hunger of your treasured ones. May their children have plenty, leaving an inheritance for their descendants. Because I am righteous, I will see you. When I awake, I will see you face to face and be satisfied. 